The fight against COVID is getting down and dirty as wastewater testing gains traction. Yeah, recently scientists were on the Michigan State University campus doing some testing of their own and the local four defenders were allowed to follow along. Let's bring in Karen Drew with what they've learned. Karen. What started as an intriguing laboratory finding about analyzing wastewater to detect the virus that causes COVID-19 has now turned into something more. Experts hoping the testing may bring early warning and indicate the scale of an outbreak a community might face. Go open up a manhole and see what we find. Defender cameras roll on a cold and rainy morning on the campus of Michigan State University. They have all the flow data for what comes into the plant. These graduate students are part of a unique group trying to track COVID-19 in wastewater. And it became pretty clear that we could find the virus in wastewater and that more and more studies were showing that we could link the, the levels of the virus in wastewater to the levels of disease in a community. We take this immediately out in the field because then we store the sample on ice till we get it into the lab. The hope? This testing can be part of a surveillance network, if you will. The crew has complex sewer sheds and maps so they can isolate the different pipes as they come from different buildings or complexes. One of the um, questions that we thought we could help answer is, um, are there asymptomatic infections? Can we detect infections early? Similar testing is also going on at the University of Michigan. We began to do sampling uh, about three weeks ago now, so it was very important for us to get uh, what we call a baseline sample. Baseline meaning it happened before the students and uh, more faculty and staff returned to campus. So those are the measurements we're going to compare everything else against. Meantime, back at MSU. What, what they'll try to be doing is a rapid test, and so they'll try to get the results by tomorrow morning, actually. And then, so if there is actually Actually, a, a much higher positive number than that can be reported to the university committees for safety purposes um, to help try to identify why the numbers have spiked up and if there's any safety concerns for our students. Results will later show the dorms that were tested were negative, but East Lansing sewage is still positive for the virus. We are taking samples once a week and looking for the virus. Um, the, we may need to take samples more frequently. Ideas that you can get early warning about three to seven days. If that works and like they can detect it from like sewage samples, then perfect, that's awesome. Dr. Rose says the next challenge is to find a way for the results to be brought into some type of program that can be displayed for health departments and students, even for parents who may be worried, will be following their testing. Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders.